Hello everybody, Lord Almighty here. Today is Sunday, February 5th, 2017, and the cabin fever was finally getting to me, so despite the cold temps, I decided to layer up and head out to Spring Lake to see what I could catch. Um, there's a little bit of ice on the pond, but most of it looks like it's open for fishing. So let's see what we can do today. Maybe we could pick up some panfish, maybe some bass, maybe I could even get lucky and catch one or two of the trout I was getting last time. Could be tough today because of the cold temps, um, but fishing in less than ideal conditions, always better than not fishing at all. Oh, there we go. That's oh, a little perch. Should keep this on the hook and use it for bait. Might get a big largemouth or something. Bass love to eat perch. That much I have learned over the years. There's a fish. Largemouth. My first largemouth of 2017. He ain't big, but he counts. Alrighty. Back you go. Just to give you an idea of how desperate I am to catch bass today, look what I caught him on. The drop shot. Certainly not my favorite thing to do, as I'm sure most of you are aware by now. But hey, it got me a fish, so there's that. There's another fish. Another little largey. Another little drop shot largey that I barely felt. There he goes, back in the ice cold water. If you guys are expecting some kind of comprehensive tutorial on how to fish a drop shot, I apologize, but I really can't give it to you. This is actually the first time I've ever fished a drop shot rig without being under the direct supervision of a professional fisherman. But I guess I'll just go through briefly what I've been doing today. Um, so I've got uh, this bait, which is a little, little crappie shad bait. It's about two inches long. Uh, it's on a size six hook and about a foot below that. I've got the drop shot weight, which is one eighth of an ounce, and I've just been casting it out, letting it sink to the bottom, and uh, kind of jiggling it back in short hops. And so far, that has yielded a few bites. I haven't felt any of the bites, though. The only reason I could tell I had a fish was because I saw the line moving. So with a drop shot, especially in really cold water like this, it's just as important to watch the line for bites as it is to feel the line for bites. Well, since it's getting harder and harder to feel my fingers, I'm going to call it a day right now. Not too bad. I was able to get my first largemouth bass of the season, plus a couple other fish, which is always nice, especially in the middle of winter. Had to use the drop shot to do it, which is still not my favorite technique, but hey, sometimes you just got to make sacrifices. So thank you all for joining me today, and I will see you on the next adventure.